The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is produced in partnership with the School District of Lee County, Waterman Broadcasting, and NBC2. This program features high school students in both public and private schools from six Southwest Florida counties as they compete in this exciting academic challenge. Lee County High School student interns help produce the show under the direction of the Lee County Schools Communication and Production Department. The A-Team Challenge is brought to you by the Suncoast Credit Union Foundation and a contributing sponsorship by Hodges University. Hello everybody and welcome to another round of the A-Team Challenge for the academic school year in 2016. I'm Robert Van Winkle, your host today, and once again, proud to represent NBC2 and a great partnership between NBC2, the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools and the Lee County School District. This 27th year celebrates great academic excellence here in Southwest Florida. This single elimination competition started off with 36 high schools from six Southwest Florida counties. We are now in the second round of our elimination, moving on so far as Bishop Vero, Donahue High School, Gulf Coast, and Island Coast. And one of these two fine teams will also be moving on as well. You'll get to meet them personally in just a minute. We're proud to announce this year that once again you can watch our games on television on Comcast Channel 99, also uh, um, on the internet at uh, YouTube, youtube.com. It's at Lee Schools TV. You just do a search for Lee Schools TV and you'll find us there. Students, remember once again your subjects today will be in our standard categories of science, math, arts and humanities, language arts, social studies, and a few general knowledge questions peppered in there as well. Here's a refresher of our rules today. We'll play three rounds worth 5, 10, and 20 points respectively. Students, remember, work alone individually in the first three rounds, no help from your teammates. In the final exam round, you'll be working with your alternates as a group, and you'll be able to wager as much or as little of your score as you wish to uh, determine who will be moving on. So, two fine schools here today, and uh, let's introduce you to them uh, just briefly right now. This is Cape Coral High School on my right, dressed out in some nice blue shirts. Cape Coral on my right. DeSoto County High School on my left, also wearing those blue shirts. Not quite the same, but you'll look at the logos and you'll see the difference there. I know, I'm just obsessed with the blue shirts. Cape Coral versus DeSoto, it's going to be a good game today. Students, are you ready to play? Let's do it. Put your hands on your buttons. Each question is going to be worth five points to start. Here we go. Scottish mathematician John Napier's invention, called Napier's Bones, was a type of what instrument that contains beads on a string to help you make Zachary Kip Coral? Abacus. Yeah, to help you make the calculations in math, an abacus. Five points starts us off, Kip Coral. Next for five. He trades his toys at the church door for enough colored tickets to buy a Bible and even got every child in town to pay him for a turn at whitewashing his fence. Name this fictional character who even took a whipping for Becky Thatcher. Blaine DeSoto. Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer is the guy. Ties us up. Five points DeSoto. The, the Zuit Plas Polder is an area of land below sea level that's just northeast of Rotterdam in what European country? Seva, Cape Coral. The Netherlands. That's true. Or Holland, I would have taken that too. That's five points. The Netherlands, Cape Coral. What sensual dance was originally developed in Argentina and Uruguay in the late 1800s? Oh, um, Oliver DeSoto. Tango. The tango is right, five points DeSoto. In a biology lab, which instrument looks like and is used like a pair of tweezers? Blaine DeSoto. Forceps. Forceps, correct response, five points DeSoto. Give the six letter word for a detective that came to English from Scandinavian and describes someone like Hercule Poirot or Sherlock Holmes. Megan, Cape Coral. Sleuth. Yeah, sleuth is the six letter word. You're right, Cape Coral, five points. Next question is on your screen. You may take a look and begin working. No baseball player has batted uh, 400 for a whole season in more than 60 years. To do it, a player needs how many hits in a season of 600 at bats? Okay, Zachary, Kid Coral. 240. Yep, you got it right. 240 is how many hits he needs, and that is good for five points for the Cape. What classic Mattel toy is being reimagined in uh, 2015 by combining an experience reel, an app, and an Android smartphone? It's a 
it's the Viewmaster. And boy, those things, if you see one in an antique store, you gotta buy it, it's, it's really fantastic. A, an antique store, I had one, what am I talking about? Anyway, next question for five points. The wavelengths of its different sets of spectral line emissions can be calculated with the Balmer formula that yields the Lyman, Balmer, and Passion series. Name this most common chemical element in deep space. Zachary, Cape Coral. Hydrogen. Yep, that's the common chemical element, important in water as well. Five points, Cape Coral. American artist Charles Wilson Peel gave one of his sons what first name? That was also the last name of the Flemish painter famed for the full-figured women in his works. Seva, Cape Coral. Uh, Rubens. Yes, Rubens Peel is right. Rubens, five points, Cape Coral. Next for five, which U.S. president is now the only one considered a member of the Federalist Party? Seva, Cape Coral. Um, Hamilton? No, not Hamilton. Uh, Oliver. Madison. No, nope, two good tries, though. John Adams. John Adams. Next question for five. Give the chemical formula for nitric acid. Zachary, you're in in time. HNO3. HNO3 is right. Five points, Cape Coral. Next question. In law, give the adjective for any evidence allowed into a court trial. If it's allowed in the trial, it's admissible, admissible. Next question is on your screen. Uh, pretty straightforward, but you need to think about it, so I'll read it here while you're working on it. Chamber Music Festival, the competitors arrive. There's a sextet, a quartet, an octet, a quintet, a trio, followed by a soloist and a septet. How many musicians are there? Who can add the fastest? It looks like Zachary's in first, Cape Coral. 34. Yep, 34, that's how many it is. Good job, five points, Cape Coral. What psychology term describes an extreme emotion in which you feel people are out to get you? Seva, Cape Coral. Paranoia. Paranoia is right, five points, Cape Coral. Next for five, name the Hispanic author of the popular novel, Bless Me Ultima. Rudolfo Anaya, Rudolfo Anaya. All right, that little dingy sound ends the first round there. We've got Cape Coral on the screen at 45, DeSoto 15. We are just getting started. A lot's going to happen here in this game. Uh, before we take you to our first break, let's introduce you to the players individually now in Cape Coral's side. Cape Coral, uh, in our first spot is Anan Kwan. Anan is a senior this year. There she is. And uh, she has uh, plans to head off to Yale and study mathematics. She's got to wait another month or so to see if she gets into Yale, but Anon, good luck to you. Megan Galbraith is the next spot. Megan, also a senior. Congratulations to her for being accepted to Harvard. She's going to be going to study molecular and cellular biology. Two guys in the back row. This is Seva Levin. Seva is a senior this year. Seva, no stranger to the A-team. Uh, he's been accepted to the University of South Florida, wants to study history. And in the final spot, rounding out the team is Zachary Markovich. Zachary, a senior this year. He's off to Duke. Congratulations also on being accepted there to study math and science. So Zachary, Seva, Megan, and Anand under the coaching of Drew Gascon at Cape Coral High School. When we come back, the fine players from DeSoto High School will be up for their introductions and our 10-point round. Don't go away. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. Hi, my name is Marshall Bauer, and I'm proud to say I'm the Executive Director of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. The Foundation has as its mission engaging the business community and the community at large with our students and teachers in the public school system. Through our many initiatives and programs, we enhance and enrich what is already going on in our public school system. The goal in mind is the same goal that the school district has to make Lee County Public Schools a world-class school system. It is important that the community understand that our students will be competing in a global market. 
And in order for them to succeed, they need the backing of the entire community. So please reach out to a student, to a teacher, and help the foundation succeed in its mission. Thank you. All right, welcome back to our game today, the A-Team Challenge between Cape Coral High School on my right and DeSoto County High School on my left. Let's introduce you to the players individually now from DeSoto. Uh, in the first spot is Blaine. Blaine Wallace is a junior. His plans are to head to FGCU after high school and study health science. Blaine, welcome to you. Next to Blaine is Emily. Emily Beard is a junior this year as well. She would like to go to Amherst College and study art history. Great goal there, Emily. Good luck to you in the future. In the back row, this is Alex. Alex Reikley is a junior as well. He would like to head to UCF and study architecture. That's a fine goal there. And Oliver rounds out the team. This is Oliver Carey, a junior, also uh, wants to head to UCF, and his goal is to study uh, computer science in the future. So we've got Oliver, Alex, Emily, and Blaine under the coaching of Andrew Hagen, Carolyn Cruz, and Larry Bailey at DeSoto County High School. All right, here we go, students. Our 10-point round is up for grabs now. Let's get our hands on our buzzers and let's see how many questions we can get in. First one for 10. Give the astronomy term defined by NASA as the path that an object takes moving through space. Zachary, keep coral. Orbit? No, not orbit. DeSoto. Blaine. Trajectory? Yes. It's trajectory, that's what I needed to hear. 10 points to Soto. Next for 10. In the, char in the Dickens novel, A Tale of Two Cities, what Frenchman lives in England and hides the fact that he's an aristocrat? That's a tough question as well. Um, Charles Darnay, Charles Darnay. Next question for 10. After he rejected a nymph who loved him, the nymph prayed that he would know unrequited love. Identify this boy of Zachary, Cape Coral. Narcissus. Yes, Narcissus. He was, uh, fell in love with himself, and his name was also shared with a type of flower. That's 10 points for Cape Coral. Next for 10. What bloody 1916 battle in France that had more than 800,000? Uh, Anon, Cape Coral. Battle of the Bastille. No, I'm sorry, not Bastille. I'll uh, finish the question for DeSoto. It had more than 800,000 ca casualties on both sides is now the major French memory of the misery of World War I. Yeah, Verdun, the Battle of Verdun. Next question for 10. In the Bible, the Apostle Paul was under house arrest in Rome while he waited to see what famous historical leader? Alex DeSoto. Caesar. Yep, Julius Caesar, 10 points DeSoto. Next for 10. Our Earth spins on its axis like a top, but it does wobble a little as it spins. Give the scientific term for that wobbling. Alex DeSoto. Malkovich? No, sorry. Good try, though. Cape Coral, want to hop in? This is a tough question. Procession. Procession. Next question for 10. What Christmas carol contains the lyrics, the stars in the heavens look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep. Blaine? Silent Night? No, not Silent Night. Next, uh, On the Hay is the rest. <laughs> Cape Coral? <laughs> Away in the manger. Away in the manger. Next question for 10. What river flows through the city of Harrisburg, PA? Blaine DeSoto. Uh, the, um, so Sucatana. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can see it on the tip of your mouth there, but I can't give you that. Uh, Cape Coral. Uh, Seva. Susquehanna. Yes, Susquehanna is right. That's worth 10 points for the Cape. Next for 10. In physics, capacitance is the ratio between the current through the capacitor and the change in what parameter? Alex, you're in in time. Resistance. Sorry, not resistance. Cape. Zachary. Ohms. Nope. Voltage. Voltage is what I needed there. Next question's on your screen. Give it a look and start working. 
When playing Monopoly, you should get doubles every six rolls. After you get doubles once, what's the probability of going to jail by rolling doubles twice more in a row? Anand, Cape Coral. One over 336. Uh, no, not one over 336. De Soto. Okay, I think, yeah. Um, sorry, uh, Manan, you were real close. One over 36, not one over 336. Okay, next question for 10. In a play by the ancient Greek Euripides, name the girl who helps her brother Orestes kill her mother and stepfather. Blame. Orestia? No, good try though. Cape Coral, not what I needed there. Cape. Electra. Electra, yeah, you knew that. All right, next question for 10. Which eastern state became the first U.S. state to ban fracking everywhere within its borders last year? Uh, Blaine DeSoto. Florida? No, not Florida yet. Cape Coral? Is that Anon? Vermont? No, not Vermont. It was New York. New York did that. Next question for 10. He served as his brother John's attorney general and was assassinated while running for president. Anon, Cape Coral. Robert Kennedy. Yeah, in 1968. That's good for 10 points right under the wire there at Cape Coral. Our score is now 75 to the Cape and 35, 35 to DeSoto. We'll double check that. And uh, we'll be back with our 20 point round when we come back. Don't go away. Our schools are faced with increasing budgetary challenges. Now, there's an easy way for all of us to support education. By purchasing a license for learning plate and renewing it each year, $20 are contributed to our schools to help our children. Support the License for Learning campaign. If you've got a car, get involved. For more information, call the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, 239-337-0433. Get involved. The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is provided in partnership with the School District of Lee County and Waterman Broadcasting. All right, the 20-point round is about to start. We did need to make a little bit of an adjustment in the scores. On question 17, uh, Blaine's response was projectory, and the proper response was trajectory. I misheard and awarded the points, which unfortunately... I shouldn't have done, and uh, Blaine was honest enough to admit that that's what he said, so we'll, we'll have to deduct the points. But uh, thanks again uh, to Soto County for that. All right, so uh, let's get on with our 20-point round now. Students, put your hands on your buttons. Here we go. 20 points are up for grabs with this question. Originally used to describe the red humor of good health, it is used today to describe something with a blood red color or someone who is cheerful and optimistic. Give this eight-letter word. Uh, Zachary. Blushing? Nope, not blushing. Good try. DeSoto? It's an, it's an interesting word. Sanguine. Sanguine. Next question for 20. In physics, the very small unit dyne equals one gram centimeter per, squared, per second squared. Spell dyne. Megan, Cape Coral. D I G N. Good try. No. DeSoto. Emily. D-Y-N-E? Yep. D-Y-N-E. Good job. That's worth 20 points, DeSoto. Next for 20. When people ask him dumb questions, what stand-up comedian and former member of the Blue Collar Comedy Tour says, here's your sign, Blaine DeSoto. <laughs> Dang it. Nope. Sorry, not in time. Kick Coral? The sign says, the tour says, here's your sign that says stupid on it. Sorry, that's the rest of the question. Uh, Zachary. Larry the Cable Guy. Larry the Cable Guy. No, that's not it. <laughs> he was all excited. No, Bill Engvall. Have you heard Bill Engvall? Neither have I. All right, next question for 20. Here we go. In the novel To Kill a Mockingbird, Jem has his arm badly broken at the elbow by what man, the town drunk, who dies in a struggle? Emily DeSoto. Boo Radley? No. Nope. Good try. Cape Coral? Bob Ewell. Bob Ewell. Next question for 20. 
It replaced the terms CDC for century date change and FADL for faulty date logic. Name this computer programming flaw that forced legacy systems to be retrofitted in 1998 and 99 to handle the date change to 2000. Alex DeSoto. Y2K. Yeah, that's it. That was the bug, Y2K. 20 points, DeSoto. Next for 20. In 1890, what female journalist finished her around-the-world journey in only 72 days? Megan, Cape Coral. Nellie Bly. Yeah, Nellie Bly, right. 20 points, Cape Coral. In astronomy, the absolute measure of magnitude is taken from a reference point of 32.6 light years or 10 of what larger units? Zachary, Cape Coral. Parsecs. Parsecs is right. 20 points, Cape Coral. Look at your screen. Here's a short, simple math question. If G, T, uh, Zachary, Cape Coral. 13. Oh, 28. No, I've got to take your first response, and that was incorrect. DeSoto? Uh, Emily? 28. 28 is the proper response. 20 points, DeSoto. Next question for 20. Give the grammatical mood of this sentence. If this pebble is a diamond, then it's valuable. Seva, Cape Coral. Subjunctive. Subjunctive is the right response. 20 points, Cape Coral. His Moscow gravestone contains the four-note pattern D, E flat, C, and B he used to insert himself into his musical works. His works include the opera Lady Macbeth of Mitzink's District and his symphonies named Leningrad, 1905 and 1917. Name this 20th century Russian composer. Emily DeSoto. Ramsky Korsakov. It's a really fine guess, but no, that's not right. DeSoto, uh, Cape Coral. Looking for Shostakovich. Shostakovich. Next question for 20. Give the physics term for the force created by pulling two ends of a spring in opposite directions from each other. Uh, Anon, Cape Coral. Tension. Tension, right. 20 points, Cape. The most famous sculpture by American artist Frederick Remington is what work that shows a cowboy on a horse standing on its hind legs? Anon, just in time. Uh, George Washington crossing the Delaware. Nope, not it. DeSoto. <laughs> They're good. Good try. DeSoto. <laughs> The cowboy on the horse standing on its hind legs. It would have been pretty interesting in the boat crossing the uh, Delaware, wouldn't it? <laughs> now, it's a very famous statue, and you should go look it up. It's called the Bronco Buster, the Bronco Buster. All right, next question, 420. On a phase diagram, at what point is the substance a solid? Uh, Oliver DeSoto. Triple point. Yeah, a solid liquid and a gas at the same time. Triple point. DeSoto, 20 points. Bolivia uh, used to be much larger than it is now. Part of its north was ceded to what country in 1867 to get Bolivia access to the Atlantic? Seva, Cape Coral. Colombia? No, not Colombia. DeSoto? Uh, Oliver? Venezuela? Nope, not Venezuela. Brazil. Brazil. Okay, there it is. Cape Coral at 155, DeSoto at 105. It's turned out to be a pretty good game. Nice and nice tight scores here, although there is a bit of a difference, so there will be some strategy to think about now in your final wager. Make that on how you think you're going to do in the final category, which is math. We'll be right back. Good job, guys. This one's packed with hope. This one's packed with big dreams. This one's packed with inspiration. It may look like a simple brown bag lunch, but it's really a big way to make a difference. That's because when you become a Take Stock in Children mentor, it takes just one hour a week to make an impact that can't be measured. Change a life over lunch. Become a mentor today. Paint Stock and Children is a major program of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools. For more information on how you can become a mentor, call 239-337-337. 
1-800-242-0433 or email info at leeschoolfoundation.org. The A-Team Challenge, a major project of the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools, is provided in partnership with the School District of Lee County and Waterman Broadcasting. Two pennies by themselves don't add up to much. But when you're a Suncoast member, every time you swipe your Suncoast credit or debit card, Suncoast donates two cents to help children's programs where you live. That means Suncoast members help make their community a better place every day just by buying things with their cards. And when we add all those pennies from all those Suncoast card swipes together, we can give millions of dollars to our children's future. Visit suncoastcreditunion.com and learn how much Suncoast could save you. Welcome back to the conclusion of the uh, great game here today between Cape Coral High School and DeSoto High School for the A-Team Challenge. As you can see, the scores are pretty tight. Before we get to the final question, I want to introduce you to the alternates that we're uh, working with the groups here today. First of all, on my right uh, from Cape Coral High School, we've got one alternate next to me here. This is Jacob. Jacob Zydek is a senior this year, waiting to hear back from the University of Chicago, wants to go there and study physics. Jacob, good luck to you. Two alternates over here from DeSoto. We've got uh, Gloria Montoya Vasquez in the middle there in the back. Don't hide, Gloria. Say hi. There she is. She's a junior, University of Miami, and uh, is where she'd like to go, and she wants to study pediatrics. And right next to me is Ruby. Ruby Barajas is a, a senior, sorry, wants to stay here in Florida and go to Embry-Riddle Embry -Riddle Aeronautical University and study engineering. Just a, a quick shout out and a thank you to DeSoto High School. You know, our high schools come from all over Southwest Florida. DeSoto's had quite a stretch to go every uh, time they've come down to Fort Myers for the games. This is their third trip down here, and you guys have done a great job. So congratulations and thanks for being here. Okay, so here we go. Cape and DeSoto, uh, this is your final question. The sum of the digits of a two-digit number is eight. When the digits of that number are reversed, the result is a number 36 smaller than the original number. So what's the original two-digit number? <laughs> I used to really dislike these questions when I was in school, but I'll just tell you right up front, these students had absolutely no trouble with this. There's the answer, 62. Straightforward, simple. This is how you get to it, so you folks at home can see that the students have to uh, have to know their math pretty well to uh, come up with that answer. So let's see how we did. Uh, we're going to start off with the school coming in with the least amount of points. This was DeSoto at 105 points. DeSoto, great job today. You got 62. That's your, uh, that's your correct answer. You wagered 104, which is exactly what you should have done. That brings you up to 209. Now, the question is, did the Cape get the answer right? Cape Coral's answer is... 62, and that is correct, a wager of 56 points by a margin of two points. Cape Coral moves on to the quarterfinals. Good job, let's give them a hand. All right, we're all good sports, congratulating each other now. Thank you very much for watching.